I mean, I think this is ridiculous. I mean, at this point, it's just getting insano. At this point, it's just getting insano, boys. Amazon acquires another MMORPG. What is going on? I messaged them today. I'm like, bro, you guys crazy? We're excited to announce our collaboration with the Embracer Group and Middle Earth Enterprises for our upcoming MMORPG based on the iconic Lord of the Rings property. They did tell me that they bought rights of Lord of the Rings when I was there, Thank though. God. They did say that. That they bought the rights to Lord of the Rings. But I had no idea this was going to happen at all. I just woke up when I saw this. So Amazon Games and em Embracer Group's Middle Earth Enterprise strike a deal for the new Lord of the Rings game. Amazon Games and Embracer Group, uh, through a totally owned subsidiary of Middle Earth Enterprises, part of the operative group of... Group Free Mode today announced that they have reached an agreement for Amazon Games to develop and publish a new massively multiplayer online MMO game based on the Lord of the Rings. Thank God. Oh, fuck. The upcoming game will be an open world MMO adventure in a persistent world set in Middle Earth featuring the beloved stories of The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. The game is in early stages of production with the Amazon Games Orange County makers of the popular open world game New World. That's really weird though, because is that like, uh, not conflict of interest, but they have New World. And New World's kind of, I guess it's not though. There's no elves and orcs in New World. Right? Amazon Games will publish the game globally for PC and console. Additional details, including launch timing, will be shared at a later date. We are committed to bringing players high quality games, whether through original IPs or belong uh, or love belong ones like Lord of the Rings. Bringing players a fresh take on Lord of the Rings has been an aspiration for our team, and we've honored and grateful that we're honored and grateful that Middle Earth Enterprises is entrusting us with this I iconic world. We're also pleased to be expanding our relationship with the Embracer Group following the Tomb Raider deal last year. Oh, they also said that yeah. To so what the? I don't understand, man. I gotta ask, how much money these motherfuckers have, man? I mean, how much money they got, though? For real, for real, man. They be buying everything, man. This is crazy. They own, like, fucking everything. I asked them how, how many... I asked them, man, I'm like, how many MMOs you guys gonna buy? That's what I asked them. I asked them how many MMOs you guys gonna buy, and, I mean, it's just getting crazy, man. We have a clear ambition to create high-quality uh, high entertainment products for this IP, whether we utilize the internal resources or the team... Uh, or team up with the best industry partners that complement our capabilities. We're taking uh, every care to deliver an MMO, which will do justice. I wonder how this is going to be to the expansive Middle Earth universe and delight players around the world. How many of you guys really like Lord of the Rings? Because if I'm keeping it real, I haven't watched Lord of the Rings in a long time. Like, when was the last time you guys watched Lord of the Rings? Fuck, man, the last one I actually remember watching was The Hobbit. Because I remember I went to this really nice movie theater and I had a recliner seat. And it was one of the first, like, recliner movie theaters I'd ever been to. It's called Sinopolis. And I got myself an old-fashioned. I was reclined and I really enjoyed it, actually. I really like The Hobbit. But I don't think I've watched it in a while. I haven't watched a single movie from that franchise. Oh, you should, though. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's like up there with Harry Potter, you know? Well, I grew up with... Like, whenever a Lord of the Rings movie was coming out or a Harry Potter film was coming out as a kid, it was the highlight of the year. This is before Thank MMOs, God. you know? Before I was like a... Uh, before I was like, you know, like an MMO gamer, movie nights for Harry Potter growing up as a kid was massive. Lord of the Rings was massive. It was huge. It was like... When a new Lord of the Rings movie was coming out or a new Harry Potter film was coming out, it was like the shit. It was like everyone was super into it. You guys remember that? Yeah, dude. It was, it was, I know you guys say it's bad chess, but I'm telling you, man, if you're a boomer like me, I mean, it was a definite big part of your childhood. I guess you could do, an, didn't they have a Lord of the Rings? Was there a Lord of the Rings MMO? Wait, wasn't there Lord of the Rings online? Wait a minute. Hold on. A few minutes later. And I got distracted by what? Oh, yeah. Wow, I'm so ADD. This is terrible. Okay, so we're reading this article. And we were talking about, yeah, so there was a Lord of the Rings MMO. And that was from the Balls of Steel video where the lady popped off. She was playing Lord of the Rings online. I remember this. I never played it, though. 
because it was around the time that World of Warcraft as well, but I, I knew some people were playing it. This was years ago, though. Actual years. Okay, where are we? The yet, the as yet untitled Lord of the Rings game continues Amazon Games' growing momentum in game establishing and development following the success of its initially developed MMO New World and action RPG Lost Ark. That's us from Smallgate RPG, both of which have top steam and Twitch charts and continue to nurture the strong player communities. I mean, it literally, I mean, I don't know how much money these guys have. I don't know what's going on, Tom. Are you sure, man? I, I mean, you guys buying literally fucking everything. Amazon has also announced publishing agreements with NC Soft Throne and Liberty, Bandai Namco <laughs> Online, Blue Protocol, Crystal Dynamics for the next big Tomb Raider game, and Glow made and disruptive games for unannounced titles. Separately, Amazon and Studio produces the hit series Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power from Prime Video. I've never watched that, which takes place during Tolkien's second age of Middle Earth, and it's unrelated to the upcoming MMO game in development with Amazon Games. Wow. I mean, is there an MMO that's coming out that people are looking forward to? That is not owned or published by Amazon. I guess it's Riot Games MMO, which we don't know if that's ever coming out. And Ashes of Creation, which we also don't know if that's ever coming out. That's crazy, bro. Chrono Odyssey. Honestly, boys, I watched the original Lost Ark trailer. And when I watched the original Lost Ark trailer, I was talking with Saint about how Lost Ark Tier 1 used to be. And there were so many things in tier one that I told Saint, if they just tweak them better, it would be amazing in today's game. Like the way the game was structured back then, they just had this, uh, they had this material that you could never get back if you missed the day. And the only way to get that material back was if you had to buy it. So it was terrible in the fact that if you missed the day, it was, you could never catch up. So you had to buy your progress back. Terrible. But the design of some of the things were so good and how you could get... There was different sets of gear, but people would eventually end up only getting the Guardian Raid gear. But at the time, you could get gear from crafting. You could get gear from sailing. There was a sailing set, a craft or, or a uh, gathering set. And they had all of these different... It was one of the things I was talking to actually Henry about. I was like chatting with him and some other thing. And I was telling him about like, oh, like, you know, what do you think about them adding different ways to get gear? You know, they could be different sets, but you could progress your character that way. And you used to have different sets of gear for different activities that you would do. And the game was really wide. It was like, it was like this. And then Lost Ark is like a diamond, right? It's, the Lost Ark is like a diamond when you look at it, right? They, when you go, start the game out, it's like this. It's super wide hardo. And then it goes like this, right? Maybe it's a little bit more like, you know, maybe we kind of go like that, but... You know, maybe it's like a vase. But, yeah. Uh, so a lot of the things I think they should bring back uh, into the game today. But I watched the original Lost Ark trailer, and it looks super wide hard though, right? Like, there's all these things that you're doing. Like, I remember watching the original Lost Ark trailer, and they were sharing, they were cutting down trees. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever done that, but if you go cut down a tree, and someone else cuts down the tree next to you, you get a saw, and you take turns, like, going back and forth, right? And so there, there was that. You would, get, you would get the materials from sailing. There was... Um, all these activities and shit, right? Um, so when I watch that trailer, it makes the game look so different than it is today. Like, Chaos Dungeons used to be your Abyss Dungeons. It was really weird. Um, so when I look at that, then I look at Chrono Odyssey, I'm like, wait a minute, man, this trailer is probably a big debate, right? All right, what do we got here? What is that? Are you interested in joining the raid? Tag the gamers you want to party to face off against the beast. Wait, this is the actual Chrono Odyssey shit? Wait, real footage? Real Chrono Odyssey footage? Okay. It doesn't look like a trailer. Okay, this is more believable footage. This is more believable footage than what we saw in the trailer. I could believe this is real, right? 100%, because it looks like, okay. It looks like it could be fun, but it looks like... Yeah, it looks okay, right? The spells have no impact, they look weak.
Well, there's no sound. I mean, you can't really say no impact because honestly, sound is a lot of impact. I don't know if you guys know this. The reason why Lost Ark has that satisfying combat is the sounds. It's a lot of the sounds. Sounds make up a lot. Like Lost Ark sounds in combat and even New World has really good sound when you're like mining and shit. It makes a lot of the activity. If it's got a good sound, a good oomph, you know, it makes up for a lot of the combat. So it depends what the sounds are like. But this looks okay. It doesn't look bad. I mean, okay, we can look at this, right? Hold on, let's just look at this. Um, okay, you could say it looks bad, right? No. Talk a little bit about what you might be noticing on the so, story, or you can charge it up longer. I mean, this is a new game. This is a mod. This is a this is a Unreal Engine five twenty, um, potentially twenty so twenty five game. I'll get, I guess I'll take this opportunity to talk a little bit about what you might be noticing on. You know what I'm saying? So there's a bit. I mean, you could say that looks bad all you want, but um, and people are excited about this too. Ten stacks of electric electric <laughs> on the target. You'll notice that they'll get another icon on them. You know what I'm um, saying? There's a big diff. Effect. And what that means. Right, so, uh, you that know, I think I think setting expectations and... Thing is applied, I don't think Chrono City looks bad. That didn't look bad to me. Uh, and also, on top of that, mage gameplay can never really be that cool. But a lot of it's the sound. Sound matters a lot. So big spell. Here. <laughs> you can see that electric... I don't know. They gotta fix that. They gotta work on it. They gotta, they gotta work on that. They got to work on that a little bit. You know, they do. They got a little bit of work to do for sure. Like, I, I really believe that. Here's the thing, though, okay? Here, this is the thing, boys, all right? You guys have the Korean MMO syndrome. Like, wow, Andy's have the wow syndrome. Okay? So, what you have is basically a hard to fill expectation. So what WoW Andes want is WoW Andes want another MMO that's like World of Warcraft. That's what they want. That's true. It's what they want, right? But there will never be another game like World of Warcraft. And for them, it's Biss. That's what they personally like a lot. It's Biss. That's what they really want. Lost Ark Andes have BDO syndrome, where basically you played BDO, or maybe you played Lost Ark for the first time, and then it's hard for you to look at another game and get excited about it because the first thing you try to compare it to is the combat. And it's going to be very, very, very hard to ever find that because that's that's like the strength of the game. Stop explaining my life, please. Well, it's true though, right? That's the, I'm telling you, it's what I've learned since I've been over here in this Korean MMO community, right? This Eastern MMO community is that you have this impossible void to try to... Now, it's possible. It's possible to fill, but it's going to be very hard to, you know, so... That's why I think some of the other games need to try to expand outwards and do other things and fill the void and things that Lost Ark doesn't have. But this does look pretty rough to me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like, for real, like Big Spell. With each hit you know, it, 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 while that's active, here we go, Big Dam. Proc additional damage. Big Dam. I'll show that here. Oof. You can see that Electrified <clears throat> gets applied. Big Dam. Oof. <laughs> <You know? laughs> it needs a little bit of like, right? That's what it needs. It needs that, right? Like the... It needs like an... Ex right? It has to have that. It can't just be like... Right? That's what it has to have. A little bit of discoloration around it too. A little darkness first and then the lightning lights up the darkness. That's what it has to have. It can't just be like... Right? Yeah, better VFX, of course. Yeah, it needs that. Not too much, right? If you're spamming the skill, but it's got to have that like... Right? You want a doomsday? It doesn't have to be a doomsday. I'm just saying, boys, right? Like, it needs to have a little bit more than just... So I'll show that here. Like, that don't look like UE5 anyway. Additional damage. So like, right here, you know what I'm saying? I'll show that here. Yeah. You can see that electrified. Sounds like you're flying into light, yeah. It needs a little bit more. It needs a little bit more, yeah. It's alpha footage, of course it is alpha footage, but you know, that's they're showing gameplay and you want to provide feedback. It's not bad. I'm not saying it I'm not saying holy shit this game's doomed. I'm just saying that they, you know, they need a little bit of work. Like if you look at some of the other classes, it, it's hard to make good mage gameplay. It's not easy. I'm not shitting on it. I'm just saying it needs a little bit of work. That's fine. Right? Don't worry guys, it's a release in 2035. When we were all connected to Neuralink and you're becoming little gods. I mean, maybe at some... I think this game comes out at some point in the next two years. And it could look completely different in two years. You never know, right?